It's been more than two years since four-year-old Cody Bigsby was reported missing, and now his father is set to stand trial for the murder of his son. Corey Bigsby reported his son missing, but police believe he killed him and hit his body months prior. Casey Baylor joins us live in Hampton this morning. Casey, there's a lot that has gotten us to this point. How are things today? Eugene jury selection is expected to begin today, but let's go back to January 31st, 2022. That's when Corey Bigsby reported his son Cody missing. Now, shortly after Hampton police named Corey a person of interest in this case, and days later, police arrested Bigsby and charged him with child neglect unrelated to Cody's disappearance. In June of last year, a grand jury indicted Bigsby on charges of murder and concealing a body in connection to Cody's death. Then in November, several correctional officers testified Bigsby made multiple possible confessions while in jail. Outside of court, community members came together to honor Cody, even creating a tribute for the boy near a fence where he lived in Hampton. In February, all items were removed from that fence after city officials decided to enforce city rules. And recently, the Virginia General Assembly passed identical bills to establish a Cody alert program for mis missing children. The legislation is now heading to Governor Glenn Youngkin's death. Advocates who have been following the case say they'll continue to honor Cody and hope to get a better understanding of how we all got to this point. It's just frustrating, honestly. I have been following it, and basically I'm just glad this trial is coming because maybe we can get some answers. And although there have been many search events from authorities and volunteers within the community, Cody's body has never been found. The boy would have been six years old right now. We're live in Hampton. I'm Casey Baylor for 13 News Now. Okay, Casey.